All right, welcome back, people, to another episode here. We are going to be looking at prospect Tioni Tabaco, a former seventh-ranked prospect at the Minnesota Twins prospect farm. But in year number one, we traded David Peralta and another player at the deadline as the Twins were buying. So we're going to take a look at this shortstop third base infield prospect here, seeing how he's doing so far in the minors and what we expect out of him here in year three so far. And so far he's hitting 200 here. And double A, one home run, three RBIs, OPS of 531. Tioni Tabato is someone that we could hopefully have as possibly a depth third base and force in the system. Shortstop, we are set. We have our guy, Jordan Lawler, second base. We just got our guy in the first round last year. Third base, we have quite a bit of depth there. So if Tabaco can be that guy, we would gladly take him. But he is someone that has a lot of potential, but he just needs to grow into it. He could be an awesome fielder for us. If we trade Gerard Perdomo and another player, he could take their place in a year or two. But right now, he's going to spend probably year three and the rest of double A. As he gets a hit into right field there, hopefully they store that a field and not an error. But he is someone that hopefully can get some power into. So he can hit the ball quite well. Got good contact on it. Someone that we're excited. But speaking of the first roll pick last year, Daryl Munoz, a first official at bat there. But he strikes out. I'm not looked there, but he'll get his own prospect profile eventually here. Enrique Encarcion, another young player in our system that we're excited about, making his own profile at some point. But he will hit into a double play here as we can't get any runs. Tulsa escapes the Indian unharmed. A double play. And Garcion just gets jammed enough. Tavico. Not enough speed to stop that double play from happening. All right. We get a look at Tavico's fielding. He is someone that can play short or third base. We had got a lot of depth for that, but that's a hard hit ball. No chance there. We might even try him at first base, too. But you also know he's expiring contract. He's older. We don't really have a lot of prospects at first base. So maybe we can try to be a first baseman for us. But he was a seventh-ranked prospect in the twin system. That's a hard hit there. Two hits now for him. Does see the ball quite well. But injuries slowed down his progress there in the Twins. Elected to get rid of him in the David Peralta trade at the deadline. So we're hoping he can be in the majors in the next year or two. He can be that guy to step up. But nothing too major we're expecting out of him right away. But Daryl Munoz, hard hit, second baseman, that's a play. We're just hoping he can be... Maybe a 20 home run guy. Uh, 10. If that, he might reach that. If not, we're fine with him getting 15 home runs too and 20 stolen bases. We would probably expect him to hit anywhere from 250 to 270. But hey, we have a lot of prospects in this position so we don't have to rush him. But he's someone we are excited about. We hope we can see in a diamond back uniform very soon. As he shows off some raw power here. That one's hit well. It's far. It's deep. And Keone Cavico. Three hits today. Two singles and a solo shot there. He does show us the potential he has. Second home run now of the year. This man could be something special. But hey. If we need bullpen help. He is someone that we're not going to rule out as trade bait as well. Because we do have a pretty stacked prospect farm right now. So honestly, 
if he helps us get uh, ultimate closer in our bullpen, we might not be able to turn that trade down. But our infield, we love it. And he should be one of the faces, primary faces in our infield for years to come. Especially with Nick Ahmed no longer here. He's a contract expired last year. Realizing we have a lot of young players ready to come up in this system. The AA team, hopefully, is the start of that as they get a win here. Yeah, AJ Vukovic there too. He's slowly growing. He did have huge power for us. But Daryl Minos is the player of the game. He had two home runs, two RBIs. Unfortunately, we didn't see those, but hey, nice to see the first overall. First round pick, I should say, not first overall. First round pick last year, Minos stepping up. And I want to just take a look here further in depth. See where he's at on the depth chart here. He's just behind Luciano and Perdomo. But, but Keone Cavato is someone that could be a huge, huge help to us in this infield. 66 overall right now, so hopefully he can get closer to 70. Next year he'll be in AAA. One year in AAA, and hopefully he'll be up in the majors for us. Or he'll be on another team. But right now as it sits, Keone Cavato... That is our profile on him. Six foot two, 195 pounds. Would like him to add on maybe a little bit more weight to his frame. A slender build. But hey, that's within training. And we got Blaze Alexander here in AAA as well. Right behind him. Then you got Nick Lofton and Thomas Tartanis. So our shortstop pool is looking pretty promising. Marco Luciano, we may see him this year. But until then, people, we'll see you next time. Peace.